Welcome back to Dicking Around Outdoors. Today is just a quick tip with Dicking Around Outdoors, talking about knives that you take camping. So I'm talking specifically about kitchen knives and prepping food. So I wanted to go through a few of the options that you have, allow you to consider the pros and cons, and then decide which knife is best for you. Now the first knife that people carry is simply their normal everyday bushcraft knife, and they use that for everything. I think that works great if you're slicing salami or cheese or something like that. It's not really a great prep knife. And my other reservation is that if you've been doing feather sticks or something like that, then you've got the knife dirty. And this is a carbon steel knife. So I, I oil this blade. So I'm not so sure I necessarily want to prep my food with a knife that has WD-40 on it, but you can do it. The second choice is a more fit for purpose knife. These are actually Kai knives from Williams Sonoma. They come with a sheath and they actually come with a set of three knives. So you have a paring knife, a slicing knife, and a quasi chef's knife that fit in their cases. Uh, Kai is a well-known Japanese knife maker. So they're nice quality knives. And these are quite cheap. In fact, I think right now, Williams Sonoma has a set on their website on sale, three knives for $29. So these are what we normally carry. Uh, we're quite fond of these. They take a good edge. And again, they come with a sheath. And I think it's important to have a sheath because if you just toss your knives in a drawer or in a camp box, you have the chance of dulling or nicking the edges. So I think it's nice to have this sheath. So this is a second choice. Third choice, if you want to move up, companies such as Primus and Opinel have little knife kits that come with a cutting board. The Primus knife is really a, a nice chef's knife. It's flexible. You could actually use this to fillet a fish. The cutting board is reasonable size. It comes in its case. This is a nice set. Uh, I do like this one. It's about $45, I think, on Amazon. The open L set is actually three knives and a smaller cutting board. Uh, the three knives are a large serrated knife, a straight blade knife with an integrated corkscrew. And this is kind of a neat little deal. It's a vegetable peeler. And if you're not familiar with the open L knives, they actually have a locking mechanism. You just turn the collar on the blade and it locks the knife blade in place. So this is a nice set. However, since it doesn't have the chef's knife, I don't find it as good for prepping. So what I would say for the open L is it's a fantastic knife for a picnic. Again, if you're doing cheese or salami or something like that. But if you're doing volumes of onions and peppers and things like that, I don't think this is the choice, but it's a nice set. It's very well made. Uh, the other thing about this set, it comes with a microfiber towel. Um, if you're familiar with microfiber, it picks up everything and it sticks to it. So if you're out in a camping environment, you're going to have all sorts of stuff stuck to this cover. The next choice I have is actually taking your home knife. So this is a home Victorinox chef's knife. Fantastic knife, cuts really well. Uh, Victorinox makes a case for it. So if you wanna bring a home knife, again, I recommend the case. And that's a viable solution, takes up more room, obviously. And with this knife or these knives, you will need a cutting board. So you can go ahead and just bring a little plastic cutting board, that works well. Again, not sized for large volume, but in the campsite, it works very well. And then the last choice you have is a box that serves as a cutting board with a knife inside. Now this one is actually from Prometheus Design Works, made by Ferrum Technology in Oregon. It has reclaimed maple case and handles. The blades are US made carpenter steel. It comes with a six inch chef knife and a four inch paring knife. Sadly, they don't make this anymore. It was a limited production item, but you can get a similar knife from Snow Peak. It's a one knife set. 
And what this does is it comes with the knives, the carrying case, and when you take the knives out, you turn the case over, and this becomes a cutting board. And as you can see, this is a very nice size cutting board. But again, these are uh, unavailable. Uh, so look at the Snow Peak if you like the design. And they can get a little expensive. So for comparison, the Open L is $85. I believe this set was 200 plus. I think the Snow Peak is in the neighborhood of 60. I'll post it below. So I hope this helps. Uh, if we were to pick one set, we would probably go to Williams Sonoma, pick this set up for $30 with the she's and call it good. They sharpen well, the blades work well, they're nice and light. So I think that's the way we would go if we only had one set. Secondarily, I would probably go with the Primus set if you had a little more room. So I hope this helped. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Love to hear from you. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please hit the subscribe button in the lower left-hand corner, or from your perspective, the lower right-hand corner. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. And that was just a tip from Dicking Around Outdoors.